Nam, day three. Orms B. And that rhymes. No, it's Orms B. Not Orms B. Who knows? Actually, well, they would know. Wow, did they bring some amazing instruments. So what am I going to show you guys? <laughs> it's just, where do I, what the, where do I even... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to start. Freaking Ormsby people, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and, and then, uh... So obviously there are the Ormsbys that are not made in Australia, which are around maybe 1500 to 2000, which is pretty, I played them and they're freaking amazing. And then there ones, the, the customy shoppy Australia ones, which is very likely what I'm holding here. Looks like a hollow body with an F hole, which is, it's a bird hole. You have to see this. This is black limbar body and neck, I'm gonna say. Locking tuners, bolute. But, oh my, and, and they have this really cool, um, this really cool binding, which we already showed in Mannheim. Looks like a Ziricote, Ziricote fretboard. Look at the guitar. Isn't that, as the French would say, le stunning? That's just decadently beautiful. Wow. Okay. But this is, this is only step number one here. The bastards just bringing, bringing a lot of pretty. We have an eight string, nobody needs this, but still, matching headstock. But look at that body. Just like pink, painty something. Pretty damn, pretty damn awesome. What one pickup called up. And you know what? Why not? If you can do it, why not? Now, I mean, if you can do it, why not? Beautiful three piece flame maple neck, ash body, I think. Pretty cool. Big volute. Oh, a brass nut. A brass locking nut. Oh, it's a Floyd, okay. But let me show you that guitar. And why not is the question. But if you thought, wow, that's some freaky shit. I'm going to show you more Le Freaky. Something that... Um, is happening at NAM now, apparently, after all the tables that were filled with resin, you know, the flow, water flowy tables. Guitar builders are discovering that you can do that. Oh, this is a beach. That is pretty, that's pretty amazing. So, guitar builders are discovering the resin. Framus has a resin guitar. And here is Ormsby's version of it, which is amazing because it's actually a beach which makes sense because those bastards are from Australia and they're living the life or the life, as they would say. Come on, and, and I love their uh, pickup covers just like totally disappearing in the body. That is beautiful. How does it look in the back? Gorgeous. Is that an Ormsby that's kind of like an HSA Strat with fan fret? Wow. Well, we're moving on. All these say sold, so there's some happy customers. Um, normal. Let's go here. I really, I, I really like that. Because that's like my, um, my copper top. I wonder if that's an actual copper top. This is um, neck through, I think, or neck. No, it's, no, it's a uh, set neck. Looks like black limbar, black limbar but uh, high gloss this time. And I don't know what the fuck that top is, but the color and the grain is more on the ridiculously amazing side. Look at that. It, it looks like um, peacock feathers up here. It actually looks like peacock feathers, if you ask me. I could do without the Floyd. Oh, I like the dots. Look at the dots. 
bluish matching headstock. How amazing. And I gotta say, I've played two or three Ormsby's at a trade show at Musique Productive. Uh, the hype, this is what I played. This is about 1700, something like this. And Dave Friedman was sitting in front of me and his jaw dropped when I played this because um, the sustain would not end. Yeah, these are fan fret guitars. These are guitars made for the modern heavy player. But what I never thought is that they are the solo guitar, the lead guitar, because the sustain did not end. I've rarely had an instrument in my hand that was singing so fucking hard. So this is also something that I very, very much like. With my mayonnaise that I have now, I'm very much digging the headless. Um, this would be a puppy that I could very much fall in love with. We have a three-piece maple neck with super flame. Super flame! Look at that. I really dig the shape, wooden thing, the, here goes the thing in the thing. And um, I just love, that's also resin. You might think it's wood, but I don't think it is because A, you wouldn't be able to do that, and B, you can see kind of swirly, it's like an amber resin, which is very, very, very cool. It's a gorgeous guitar, Ormsby people. I want the ball. Okay, but they brought more stunning things, so let's look at more stunning things. What the crap did they do here? I like the weight. I like the weight. Again, ooh, this is just this is like airplane aluminum. I don't know how they did that. It clearly isn't, but maybe it is, who knows? But this is actually, this is not painted on. This is on top. It is as if there's aluminum wrapped around this and then bolted and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool, Ormsby people. Looks like they have some very creative, creative, creative people down there in. Hungary, wherever they are from. Where are they from? Um, here we have another one with the light, similar to what we saw earlier. The yellow one is awesome. Let me show you the, the Stratty one. I can, I can say Stratty one. There's a purple one, which you can't see because crap's in front of it. Oh, this has a lot of weight to it. Didn't expect that. So if you're a traditionalist, okay, stack, staggered tuners, staggered locking tuners. This is probably the most traditional guitar Ormsby has. It's an aged HSS, let's call it Strati kind of a thing. Um, five positions. I love those, what's that stuff called? The blue stuff. In the fretboard. Um, that is the Indian stuff. The American, the Native Americans do that. I don't, I don't remember that stuff, but it, it fits the body so perfectly. But it has a slight fret, uh, fret fan, fan fret. Does it even? Yes, it, it's, but it's, but it doesn't really fan it. I don't know, something weird here. But um, that's awesome. Why not take that concept to more classic styles? They brought a lot of guitars, messed up in the head, people, giving us that to see, but... Come on. But if you want an Ormsby, they started at around 15, 1600. And those guitars, I played them, are absolutely phenomenal. Trust me. Links below. And animals at the end.